Welcome to part two of our Steel Valley um, tutorial. So what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare this area here for our um, flange channels, which are going to act as the sides of the valley. So what we want to do, first of all, is create some plates on top of this beam to actually sit those channels on. So I'm going to set a work plane and pick a plane and make sure I get the top of that beam by there. And then I can actually open up the viewer and zoom in down here. So what I want to do now is architecture component model in place. I'm just going to do a generic model for a bit of speed here and just call that a plate. And an extrusion. Zoom in down here. And let's click on this so that it's actually writing on this area or drawing. OK, now I do want, there we go, there's the center line. So I'll just start off on that. And I want to come out at that 90 degrees from that center. And I'm going to come out to 50 side. So it's going to be 500 wide overall. There we go. Keep the 90 degrees and just go for the 200 on that side. And then it should be 500 this side. Make sure you get the 90 degrees though. And then I'll just use this to quickly join those together. Then I want to copy that. So let's press the copy command. Highlight those. Copy. There we go. Select on there. And I'll just do this at three meters. And same again. I get that three meter exactly. It's proving a bit more tricky than I usually does. There we go. But now it's not actually on the beam. There we go. Good. And then I'll just put one more up on the top end up here. There we go. OK, so that's those in there. Tech. And extrusion start and 10 mil thick material. I got it as a steel. OK, finish model. And there we have those plates ready for our flange channels. OK, so let's now go to the structure tab, the beam. I've got my parallel flange channel selected here. So what I'm going to do now is position this along here. OK, and we are going to have to check a few things as we do this, but let's get this on here first. So click on here so we can actually Get it in the right place. I'm going to zoom right in because I want it on the corner of this. And then I'm just going to zoom out and get it up here and see how it nicely locks into position. OK, this side down here, I can click on the beam and just extend it over here. Now we'll see this positioning is not correct. So justification is on origin. I'm going to change that to right. And now we can see that it sits on the edge of that plate, but the, it's below the plate at the moment. We can just see by there. 
So now I'm just going to change the justification from the top to the bottom and it will sit on the plate or level with the plate at the moment. Now the plate I made 10 mil thick, so I'll just give it a 10 mil offset there as well. Okay. Now as I zoom in by here, um, we can see that the actual channel is the wrong way round for what I want. So I'm going to jump back into here and this is probably the easiest place to sort this out. So I'm just going to mirror that on its own position. Oh, on this. Yeah, I'll just do it by there. And then I can just move it back. Just zoom in, get the little crossover point there, get it onto the corner by there. And now we can see that that is the correct way around for what we want. Okay, and possibly a little bit too long, but I could just cut it back a little bit to tuck it there. All right, and what I'm going to do now is I want to close this down, set a work plane, and I'll just jump back to ground floor for standard one okay what i want to do now is mirror this again that one uh, i'll go to my roof plan so i can see these and i can mirror that again and this time pick the center line of the beam have a look at that one in 3d there we go so that looks much better so we've now got those fixed on there, like so. That's a good start. What we're going to do next is create our beam systems. So to do this, I'll do this side first. We're going to change the work plane again. So pick a plane, top of that beam there and then do a beam system and we will pick lines I could have actually done that over here rather than by there I'll get rid of that one in a minute The wrong one there. Get rid of these lines I don't want. Okay. And then we'll pick a line down here. Just set it in there for now. And then, of course, we've just got to tidy up all the edges. Those ones look like they joined together already, which is good. OK, so there's our roof shape. And Ah, looks like we have got the wrong one, but there we want it on this one. So we're going to have to just adjust that. There we go. That's an easier way of doing that. Just line it up onto there. There, that's good. All right, then. So we've got the direction, the span direction there going in the correct way. Um, fixed spacings, 1600, flange channels, I've got the correct one I want. So I'm just going to tick and there we go. We get them in there. Um, we can see though, then fortunately they're not of the right height. Um, I probably should have just checked that first. They need to be up on top 
of that. Okay. And now we've got to think about the justification. So they're 230. There we go. So now we've set them on top. And that helps them to meet up with these here. OK, we should have connections here. So um, the connections on these sides I've done in previous videos. So what I'm going to do is just click on this and this and just do a connection here just to show. Oh, there it is, the clip angle. Why couldn't I find that? That's the one I was looking for. There we go. Look, so that looks much neater. So you can just put that in there. That's it. OK, so there's purlins running across on one side. And of course, we want to do the same on this side over here. So let's just do that again then. So we need to change our work plane now as well. So let's pick a work plane. Let's pick the top of this beam. We will go to the architect. Oh, no, the architecture, the structure, beam system, pick, together. Now we can see here that our beam direction is incorrect so we'll just click on that change that there and then again just double check this little lot here make sure it's all correct and that's fine okay so we have to tick that there and then again we have to um, select these and just change them to on top. Why are they not selecting? There we go, that's better. What did I click on there? Then I must have clicked on something else by accident. There we go and change that to a bottom justification and that does that okay and again we would then just want to ex so just have a little look at that one there we go look see wrong way round we can change that on these better and then we need to extend them out a little bit because they've do the same with this one now we can just drag that across use the lines to help you lock in the right places 